guys, welcome to Anderson's TV. This is Guitar Paradiso. My name is Pete. My name is Mick. How are you? Hello? Coffee. Coffee. It's early and uh, I'm having some coffee. Yeah, we should get this said right from the beginning. Pete had a little uh, oopsie daisy this week. <laughs> this weekend. No. He was fighting a bear in a forest. Yes, I was. And, uh, and I snapped a couple of ribs. Yeah. So if you see a Face in pain, it is not guitar face yeah, solo. You should, you should see the bear though. I mean, yeah, you should see the bear. Yeah. It was um And the bear started it. This is not, I, not about cruelty to bears either, no, is it? Bear started it, I ended up shaving the bear's back. <laughs> oh. Or it might uh, have been at soft play with his kids. It might it might have been that. It might have been that. Um but anyway, so Pete's in a bit of pain today, so uh, if he grimaces more than normal. I'm not exactly I'm not I'm not lucky at the moment, am I? It's like either I'm just really got a chest infection or a bad leg or like a now broken ribs and I don't know what I need to do. So much for people from Daneland being the happiest in yeah, the world. Exactly. Actually, Pete, I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate through the medium of um, music how you feel at this point. Can okay. You, can you play an A major chord, please, on the count of three? Okay. One. An A major. A major. Just like yeah, seven. A major. Okay. A major. Just Here we go. straight A major. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> that's how Pete feels. That's how I Pete. Think that's Pete my feels, left, the left side inside. of my body, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Anyway. Without further ado, Gibson Midtowns. Mid Gibson Midtowns. Pale and blue. I mean, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, yeah, another tangent. I was on uh, Facebook yesterday, and uh, there's a guy called Colin Cripps, who comes from Canada. Killer guitar player. Um, uh, Colin, Colin's got an awesome collection of guitars. Really loves uh, old Gibsons, um, 60s, 80s, 30s, that sort of stuff. Gets an immense tone. Anyway, he sticks up these three uh, 64 SGs. <laughs> um, a cherry one, uh, a white white custom, and um, what I thought was Inverness green, but it was in fact Pelham blue, that had gone off really, really green because the, obviously the nitro lacquer on the top goes yellow, oh, blah, right. blah, blah, blah. Yellow, blue, just as it does on some old fenders, ends up looking very green. Anyway, blah, 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 tangent. Check out Colin Cripps, he's a completely Colin brilliant. Cripps, I'll check him out. Brilliant guitar player. That's a, uh, yeah, I can imagine, because I used to have a Gretsch, like a 58 Gretsch, which used to be... You used to have a 58 uh, Gretsch. Well, <laughs> you used to it, have a 58 Gretsch. It, 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 was, it was kind of, I can't remember, because it's like, it is 15 years ago, back in... In your 50s. Yeah, in my 50s. And uh, it's gone It's gone yellow, so it used to be racing yellow and it's gone green or the other way around. I think it's gone green yeah. and it was racing yellow. Well, yeah, um, um, so if you stick a nitrous early uh, top coat um, and it's, a, you know, from the 60s, they get exposed to light, they, they could sometimes yellow a bit and if you mix the greens and the blues, oh, right. end up looking really weird. Well, That's why old blue, um, some old blue strats, uh, no, let's just not even talk about that. Yeah. Anyway, it's why some look more yellow than others. Exactly, yeah, here we go. Anyway, these are the pel these are the Midtown, and we've got a standard, and we've got a custom. Yeah, so, um, what's interesting about the Midtown, came out 
a few years ago. I remember when they first came out, I was working on guitarists at the time and reviewed them. Um, so broadly, what you would imagine from a, a, a Gibson Thin Line Semi, um, except they're constructed somewhat differently. So if we compare it to this, for example, which is the 335, which is a kind of more familiar guitar. Yeah, with, that's the that's 59... 58. 58. Yeah, no... Um, big fat neck. Big fat neck, no binding on the neck. Yeah, it's quite But the, the key thing about the 335 is it's got a pressed arched top. So you've yeah. got arches and curves all over that top, yeah. whereas the Midtown is a flat, completely flat maple completely top. Completely flat maple top, yeah. And instead of um, being like a centre block construction, so where the 335's got front, back, rims, and a centre block, the Midtown is actually kind of chambered, hollowed out. Yeah. So it's uh, mahogany, I believe. We've got some specs up mm -hmm. there. On oh, the it's wall. mahogany. Mahogany neck, mahogany body. Yeah. And I think it was the three ply, ply top, isn't it? Maple. Yes. Top. So yeah. it's still a maple top, but it's not pressed. It's just a flat top. Yeah. Um, and so those those are the key differences. Uh, it's a little bit not quite as wide by the looks of things. Um, yeah. But yeah, quite. So looks very similar, but quite um, different construction. And of course, the key question is, what do they sound like compared? Which we'll come on to exactly in a minute. So the one I have is a standard one, as you can see. It's a pearl and blue, lovely. I'm just looking at the neck here. You can see how. You can see the grain through it, which is really cool. Mm. Bit, of, bit of sink in there. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Uh, the pickups are the Alnico Burst Pockets, I believe. Same uh, both guitars. Same, so the specs are very similar to both guitars, apart from that's got deluxe um, specs with the bindings and the and, and the you know all the inlays and all this different stuff. Yeah, f slightly fancier top there. Looks kind of bluey on the front. Yeah. Green up the back. Blue at the front. Green at the, the front. Back. Green up the back. Yeah. Great. Um, great. And the other big difference is rosewood fingerboard. Ridge light fingerboard. Ridge light fingerboard. Exactly. And I remember, again, back to that first um, review I did a few years back for Guitarist. Um, I remember not realising it was a rich light fingerboard and then playing it thinking it was ebony before I checked the specs. Yeah. Obviously. Because it's um, very, you know, that's, we've talked about that before. Ebony, yeah. rich light, all that stuff. What's the, you know, if, if you don't, if you, if you don't know, with a blindfold, would you be able to tell the difference? No way, I wouldn't be able to tell. Totally. Or hear the difference. And, or... and you, I mean, you'd have to be. I mean, you put yes, you can. When you look closely, you can see that it's not a bit of wood, but you've got to look really, really closely. Um, and a lot of people have been quite hateful about rich light and that it shouldn't be used and all the rest of it. But I heard it was personally, more expensive. I've got no problem with it whatsoever. No, I think it's great. I don't. I've got no problem with that yeah. whatsoever. And they can make skateboards out of it and uh, tabletops and uh, sides of buildings and stuff. What they, that's what they use it for as well. Oh yeah, yeah. If yeah. you check richlight.com, I think it is. But yeah. these guys that makes it, you know. It's a bonded. It's a bonded wood fiber with the epoxy resin, that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's kind of paper hard. And stuff and yeah, compressed yeah. really hard. Anyway, yeah. so let's. Um, I think we should have some tone. No. Hooray! What is the? What would be? What? Because you know. Um. You know, who would buy this guitar and why? What do you think? Well, that's a good question. So, because um, that's what I was looking at, and thinking. Right. So, why wouldn't you buy a three thirty five? Price, maybe one. Body's too big. Yeah. Uh, physically too big, which is where the three three nine comes in. Yeah. That's a smaller body. And this is a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Yeah. Um, and again. Uh, maybe you don't like it. Uh, maybe you like a flat top instead of a yeah. curved top. Maybe you like a bit more. And of course, that's a lot more affordable. I think I believe this is uh, 999 I think the links yeah. will be below we, we're so never completely sure about the prices here but uh, what year is it 1957 now and yeah and you're looking you... 10 years ahead in the future so this guitar will be 1 billion yeah it's 1 billion uh, pounds and this uh, one's so that's 1 billion this one's 2.2 2 billion 1.7 uh, billion <laughs> That's about, about a thousand quid, <laughs> yeah. and I think this is about, about 18, 1800. So yeah. it's quite a bit more expensive, yeah. and both considerably less expensive than a than a three thirty five. Definitely. Yeah. So that's one. Anyway, reason. let's have some tones. It's the same as a principal setup as a yeah. three three five. Actually, yeah. I will I will just say just to answer his question, what what Gibson says, it's a more versatile guitar. So I can imagine that because yeah. of the construction, you can rock out with it a bit more, get a bit more gain on, and it's kind of closer to um, you've got some of the air benefits of a semi, but you've also got some of the sort of more direct, <laughs> there's one for the innuendo combination. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you've also got some of the uh, more direct uh, sound of a, of a slightly more solid guitar. So. Yeah, so anyway, let's have some tones. I'm plugged into the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe with a cream back, and it's a G chord. <laughs> On 
on the neck pickup. Both pickups together. Back pick up. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway. What was that first chord you played? A G chord. Oh, the other one. Uh, and the jack socket is on the edge here. Exactly, which some oh, some people prefer. You poor riff. It's much more louder. Louder. Spankier. Spankier. Brighter. Brighter. Yeah, this is softer all over this guitar. Yeah, much softer that. Yeah, and that's still got pretty vintagey pickups in it. It's got Alnico 2, and Pete, Pete's uh, avoided the first rule of recording there and of not turning his phone off. Actually, that's because I need to take my uh, my pills. I need ah, to take my, uh, yes. my codeine pills. Yes, for the for the ribs in case you missed that bit. Yeah. Um, these are still pretty vintagey pickups. They're uh, Alnico 2, Burst Buckers. Yeah. Asymmetrically wound coils for those of you who want to know. Uh, I've got it written up there. 5,300 for the bridge uh, winds, 5.3 and 5.5, five, five, and 5,005.2 uh, for the neck, yeah. for whatever difference that makes to anything. But they're um, Alnico 2s, so they're pretty vintagey pickups, and yet it still sounds kind of more yeah. direct than and this. Let's try to put some. To overdrive on, I've got a uh, King of Tone <clears throat> under here, so this is what it sounds like. That's pretty rocky, isn't it? See if we can do the same thing. Um, it's channel two here. Ready? Such a big difference between these two, isn't there? I it is. Say, I can definitely see this would be more versatile to do Just other things. Before you plug in there, Pete, let's up the yeah. gain a bit. So, okay. on, on my side, we're plugged into a JTM 45. Oh, hello. Uh, and I've got a full tone plimsoll on the floor here. So, let's give it a little bit more love. So, this will be a slightly harder gain um, because of the amp, partly because of the pedal. Yeah. So, we'll just do the same thing. <laughs> I just sort of push against you, it's not it's not funny at all. Give some neck pickup love. Yes, we should get an AB switcher. Yes, we should.
Nice! Okay, so just before we put the 335 away, we'll try yeah. just a quick clean sound through this. Yeah. Through this Marshall here. Um, yeah. I'll put a little bit of. Uh, what is that? Boss Wazacraft DM2 delay. Just, you know, just to give it a bit of. Oh, that's nice. That's oh. Nice. You in pain, mate? That's nice. A little bit, but I've just taken my pill, so uh, it's good. <laughs> Codeine. So, Bring it. Um, I don't know. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, so traditionally more 335 territory, a bit kind of cleaner. You're here and see. Something like that. It's 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 really really nice. It's a there's yeah, nothing it's not, wrong with no, that at nothing. all. It's more bright. It would lend itself to more different playing styles, wouldn't it? You Which know? to be fair, is, what, it looks is cool. exactly what Gibson says. That's it. Okay, um, let's see if the custom and the standard sound any different. Um, bear in mind, really the only well, the this one's got sort of a more thing. figured maple top, but the rest of the construction is the same. Yeah, and apart from the fretboard, of course. AB box, yeah, we should do. I'm just gonna hand you the guitar, because people say we should do that as well. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Because apparently you play different. Tried with that one there, so you play that now. Let's see what that sounds like in there. Uh... Where's the hole? You can just fast forward all those bits, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the sound of that one. Do you? Yeah. It's, this one sounds more like, like that. It, I, where I, it's more fuller and rounder, where that one is sort of brighter and it seems to me like that is more the kind of guitar you can use for more stuff. That's quite mad, isn't it? Because you would expect that one with the harder fingerboard yeah. to sound a bit brighter, but actually just shows you've got... You, that, you know, that one to me sounds brighter in, in here, in the room anyway. I don't know exactly what you're gonna get out, you know. Yeah. Um, just shows, doesn't it? You've got it to feels, go and... And it feels different to play as well. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Strange, isn't it? It's so weird. It's you pick so... something up, that's why you always need to, when you pick them up in the shop, you play guitars, and I'm, you might not like it, I might love it, and that's the same, you know. A lot of people ask, if you are buying a guitar, you have to go and try it, really. That's what we kind of, Yeah. that's what I, that's what I think. Quite often your preconceptions mm. are just thrown out the window, aren't they, when you when you think, oh yeah, that one's definitely going to sound brighter, because, uh, why? I don't know. Exactly. And then, anyway, there we are. Blah, blah, blah. So there we go. There um, we go. Midtown? Yeah. Custom. Standard. Yeah. I like, I, do you know? Links below. It, it brings back good memories. Yeah. It's a good guitar, man. I've, I've never, I, I was like, what are these guitars? You remember <laughs> I said that, what is this? I've never, I, you know, I go in the shop all the time. I was like, what are these guitars? We need to do a video on those, they're great. Good stuff. I want to hear this through the Marshall. Yeah. Nice model. And just to quickly say, there's, there's lots of different colours as well, you know, so go on the link below and have a look, you know, you, you might, Pell and blue might not be your colour, so 
you know, go and have a look and uh, come in and check them out. Sounds good. Gained and clean. Great. Just great. Uh, anyway guys, that was the Gibson Midtowns here on Guitar Parodies on Anderson's TV. He's Mick. And he is Pete. And we'll see you next Friday. Cheerio! Bye. <laughs>